Set up. Riders ready, go. Go, Jason! They may look like motorcycles, but they're bikes blasting down the straightaway. Funny hopping over the tabletop into a hairpin turn with a bank that's like climbing a wall. Then hang tough for the whoop de doos and it's a fight to the finish. And all that adds up to 60 seconds of energy, endurance, and excitement called bicycle motocross. It's got a lot of action, and a lot of people get to participate in it. Trophies are big. Some people get hurt. just a fun sport. It started with kids on the West Coast riding stripped-down bikes on the trails, imitating the motorcycle motocross stars. And now it's become one of the fastest-growing sports in the country. But these days, there's nothing stripped down about the bikes, which can run up to $1,000. The frames are made of special steels, aluminum, chromoly, special Reynolds 531 tubing. Forks are basically chromoly and steel. Stronger handlebars, sealed hubs and headsets, $68 pedals, leathers and bands, and shoes with special bottoms made to help grip the pedals. This backyard sport has definitely come out of the backyard. After you run the first moto, and the first moto only, you stop down at the finish line. 254 riders aged 6 to 16 turned up in Rockville, Maryland, with friends and families for the Maryland National BMX Championships. For the next six hours, there will be a race every 90 seconds. Tonight, 91 riders will carry home trophies, and one rider will be the new state champion. The next class is eight experts, and that's only eight-year-old riders. And that's Age and ability may differ, but motocross riders seem to agree on the winning strategy. The most important is reaction time when you're on the gate getting a good start. Getting off on the starting gate is very hard. Now you get out of that gate, okay? As fast as you can, because uh -huh. you got to get that whole shot, right? Uh -huh. Okay, you got your shoestrings tight? Of course, it also helps to stay on your bike. You're gonna trip, stumble and fall, and when you land, it's no fun at all. You're gonna trip, trip, stumble, stumble and fall. You're gonna trip, trip, stumble, stumble and fall. You're gonna trip, trip, stumble, stumble. Most spills look worse than they are but it never hurts to have a handy mom around to help out or offer a little moral support. And it's this type of rugged competition that separates the boys from the boys? I give her a lot of credit for competing with the boys. It's, it's really hard for her. Uh, the boys outweigh the girls. Mm. That's right. Boy number five is a girl, Jenny Zimmer. More and more girls are taking up motocross racing in spite of the difficulties. The boys, they're a lot stronger than me, and they can beat me. And the blatant prejudice against their sex. I think they're terrible. Go, go, go! Go! Some of them can ride, though. The preliminaries have been run in the dust. The finals will be raced in the mud. Now, for Jason Briggs, who's one of the contenders for the championship, this could be good news. There's gonna be a lot of action because these are the big guys and if, well, they have so much speed, they, if they go in the mud, they'll probably slide out. But John, I think, he'll pro he's the fastest one in this one they need. He knows how to control it better, so he has a chance of falling or taking it easy and getting first. John is 15-year-old John Beverunian, ranked first in the state going into today's meet, with 10-year-old Jason a close second. If Jason can fight through the mud to win his heat, he has a shot at the first place trophy. But he's got to get first and then hope his rival, John, gets mired down on the course and loses his race. It's a lot of ifs. And when Jason's heat was over, he had come in second. It was a little muddy, so I couldn't pedal all the way like I usually do, because if I did, I'd slip out. So I had to settle for second. The final crucial race begins. John's wearing number one. John takes an early lead, holds it, and wins easily. So now it's official. The first and second best BMX racers in the state of Maryland smile for the photographers. 
and head for the winner's circle to collect the gold. It's been a long day, and like racers everywhere, there are those who finished first and those who didn't. But try as you might, it's impossible to find one BMX racer who lost. Well, try the best. That's what counts. Try your best and have fun. Well, I tried. Don't worry, he'll be back next year, and so will we. Now, in a few moments, I'm going to go back in there and challenge our video whiz to a game of golf. So I better get in there and warm up a little. <laughs> 